Okay, third match of the week. Let's get those uh, titles updated. We're now playing Masser and their Anampaka list. So they are no longer Satya. That's done. We are on Anam Pakal Thousandth Moon. Okay. Uh, let's disable that preview. We are on the draw. Let's see if this had. Let's take a look now. We have uh, turn one removal. We have all our mana. Turn two creature. We need to and two counter spells. I like this. I like this a lot. Uh, let's potentially do the mire first. Let's see what their turn one play is. Threatening or not. So ideal for them would be something like Ragavan. Uh, Esper Sentinel, I'm not too scared about Ocelot Pride, Guide of Souls, scary cards, um, Bomat Courier, not bad. But they don't have a turn one play, so we are super happy. And so we can play out as a Veilman too. Turn two play, potentially scary. It's a Regal Bunny Horn. Okay, that is actually not scary. We can hold off the counter magic next turn for Pakal. Uh, we have, what do we have in hand in terms of lands? We have black, white, and uh, a white or a blue. So uh, we're going to go for another blue here. Blue, black. Uh, that gives us a land, but we don't really need a land now. We want more in terms of the answers. Dark Slate Shores, that works, but doesn't let us get our counter magic off. So we're going to go ahead and play out a white pathway. Potentially hold up a counter spell. Definitely hold up a counter spell. The question is which one and what do they plan to do? Okay, uh, if we lapse the signet, so let's use our mana, and if they haven't drawn a land here, this is excellent for us. Okay, they had the land, uh, so not bad. Uh, we want to play out, so if we can Goblish Shrine into Portable Hole on the Bunny Corn. Although Bunny Corn is not very scary at the moment. So maybe we just play out Flooded Strand and see what happens. So can I get up to a 2 2 yet? Uh, what do you mean, both sides like that? Uh, is this going to be their play this turn? Make red red. Uh, because you have black and red. Uh, if I do, they'll be in, in there. In the sleep? In the, yeah, you found the one with all the sleeps? Yeah. That's where all my sleeps are. So how many sleeps I have are in so, there. So, um, not the, taking the white on carton, they're not all. All of the sleeps are in there. Some of them don't have a lot, some of them have fewer, some and of them have more. Uh-huh. You have Six, three two gold yeah. cartons, right? Uh, yeah, but only one of them has sleeves. I don't want that. So the question is, do I, do I mind letting them ramp? And I think I do mind letting them ramp. Okay. Uh, this is great for me now. I can play out. Uh, Goblet Shrine and Luminar Casperin. Still holding up two pieces of counter magic. Next turn I can uh, not refeed because my short Dark Slip Shores will be under tapped. But if I draw, so uh, I think I want to Tails end here. It's arguable I could use Wash Away, but uh, now I can play Rafin, and if they draw another land, I can still go. All goodbyes, not bad. 
Uh, let's go ahead and put the theme here. Let's put the counter on the theme just in case they have like ghost fire slice. Probably not, but um, hmm. is nice, but at the same time, really want to get another land in play. Mong goodbye and wash away and portable hole are all going to be pretty important here. So I'm going to get rid of Felia, get that counter on, and put down that Dark Slick Shores. Now I've got five lands, I can play Ravine if I need to. Um, they can play Adam Pakal, and the question is, do I, do I even care here? Uh, I, and I don't think I do. Yeah, that's fine. I'm gonna block the token because I can still. Oh, so good. Oh, so good. Uh, I can get rid of Adam Pakal here. I could potentially play Oculus. Uh, that would be the greedy play. If they play something like Tajik, do I care? Um, so, is this a play to the board turn? Or is this a. Uh, hold wash away turn. If I play Oculus and they remove it, I still get my 2 2. They could do something like Swords into Tajik, and that's not great. So I think right now I'm I'm doing fine. Uh, I can ditch Triumph, and or do I want to ditch Hole? Uh, I think I ditch Hole and Shadowy Backstreet. A counter spell, a removal spell, and a poor Oculus. One, two, three, four, five, six. Impact Tremors, yep, that's fine. At this point, we don't care so much about that. Roaming Throne. Uh, so I can counter Roaming Throne. I think I do want to get rid of roaming throne. It's a 4-4. Four, four. It's going to up their bunny horn. Okay, uh, so let's go ahead and attack in first. It's eight, potentially 10 damage right here. Uh, so I will get rid of the bitter triumph and the Concealed Courtyard. And I will Oculus. One, two, three, four, five. I guess if I'm not going to play the land out anyways, six, I should have kept the Bitter Triumph. Um, I really don't think I need to play out the land, and I can hold on to it next turn. That's nice. I can even flip Goyf here. I'm fine with that. That gives me the land that I wanted. Comes in tapped. Uh, what do I have the least of? Planes. Ooh, islands, I think. Doesn't really matter. One, two, three. Uh, I will take it. Put it. Ravine goes to command zone. Spirited companion. That's fine. Okay, and uh, I think just like this, I can win. Five, five, five. Let's 
see, this is not a great hand. Uh, two lands. We have all of our colors, but I'm only two lands. Counter magic up. Uh, we do have a turn to play. We can bounce. But I think we want to see a little more removal. This is terrible into any strong turn one creature play. Much too slow a hand. Um, they do nothing turn one. Then this isn't so bad. We put Aspirant, a Flesh, and Felia. Uh, and then we can bounce counter spell while continuing to grow forward. But I think we look for something like this. Perfect. Gold Talent. That's fine. Let's go ahead and. Hole. Next turn we want to Malcolm. Oof, nice. Good for them. demolition on our portable hole. Do they have a land or do they get rid of? Okay, that's fine. No land, and they don't want to get rid of the gold hound. Ozolith, okay. And goes Malka. All right, uh, so do we ref risk roofing here? Uh, and I think the answer is Rafine will let us get two draws. Malcolm will let us get one. We ditch, in any case, we ditch, ditch the tenacious underdog to. Um, And I think we go ahead and machine. played with this player before, and they are not the um, they are not the mana tithing type. Okay, uh, we can ditch land. How are they doing? Are they stuck on two lands? If they are. Uh, yep, okay, that's good for us. Back there. All right, let's go ahead and swing in. Let's get the counter on the Um, Let's get rid of Esper Sentinel and a swap. I think we can get rid of the Swarm Sun Tour, but it gives us a good blocker. Uh, if we want to keep up Spell Snare, let's see what do we have. Um, Deep Cavern Bat, we can do something like Deep Cavern Bat and Swarm Sun Tour here. Um, in which case, what are we getting? Swarm Saboteur blocks and Deep Cavern Bat. It's a C in their hand. Uh, but they're only on two lands, so do we care that much about their hand? I don't think so. So let's get rid of the Deep Cavern Bat. Play out the Marsh Flats and play out Swarm Saboteur. That gives us the block. We can flash in the Spectral Sailor for an additional attacker. Spell, spell snare thing uh, on their turn. Okay, that's not bad. Um, can attack him now, and we're gonna block. Resolve. Okay. Flash in here. Block there. Let's attack with our flyers. Let's see. 
one, two, three, four, flash it here, draw, we're fine drawing here. Um, take as little damage as possible. Let's put in a swamp. Curiosity. Alright. One, two, three. And let's get rid of uh, one more. Oh, wait a minute. Maybe here. And my version is great. We still have a good blocker. And we have lethal in the air. That's not bad. Swap Saboteur being a great blocker is a nice for us. Um, okay, creature tokens. What are we doing here? I think we are going to. Um, Alright, we edict. They have to get rid of one of these. Having a white would be nice. So, they block one of the threes. They block one of the flyers. We still have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. They block a three, three, and a four, four. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Um, hmm. All right, we have to hope. I think we swing in here, and let's do this. Each opponent sacrifices a non-token creature. Gives it one less blocker. And I think we have lethal. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. As long as we buff up one of our Either a fiend, malcolm, or swamp saboteur. Actually, it's got to be either three. Um, so right now they bump four and a three, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we need to bump up, bump up one of our two twos. No more lies is nice here. And what is the opponent going to do? Let's see. Swinging, we're gonna have five draws, so five points of buff. One, two, three, four. We're gonna give her no more lies, and if we get a removal spell, a one mana removal spell, that's great too. We can also remove their, um, their flying token, potentially. That is interesting. I would not have uh, sacrificed that if I were the opponent. Let's get our Rafina. <laughs> five lands. One, two, three, um, four, five. So now I have a uh, guaranteed lethal in the air.